Coming up in this video, I want to test all three of these solar panels. So in the back here, I have a rigid Bouge RV 200 watt panel. In the middle, I have two lip 100 watt panels put in series to make a 200 watt solar array. And this is a semi rigid panel. And then in the front here, we have the all powers 200 watt flexible panel. So this panel here is semi rigid. As you can see, there's not much give in it. And this panel here has more give, so it's more flexible. So I'm gonna test these three individual panels and actually show you how to test your panels at home as well. And then that way we can get an idea of which one is gonna produce the most energy. And up first, we're gonna go with the flexible panel. Okay, now coming to the back of the panel here, you can see we have our two MC4 connectors. So we're gonna test this for voltage. Okay, so we're just gonna use our multimeter, put it on DC. And we have 21.08. Okay, we're gonna write that down. So now what we're gonna do is short the panel. We do that by plugging it into itself and then coming over to the amperage. And we're gonna test the current. So we have 9.35. Okay, now there's one more way that we can test these panels and it's with a little device. And this here is a solar panel multimeter. So let's plug our solar panel into it. Okay, we have manual. Let's switch that to auto. And then we are going to how do I start this thing? Okay, right there. So our P max is 129.5. Okay, and our voltage is 20.8, which is a little bit different than what I had. Our amps is 7.98. So this is gonna be under load with an MPPT solar charge controller. That's what you're gonna see. Okay, let's disconnect this and move on to the next array. And we're on the lit time, 100 watt, two in series. And let's check our voltage. Okay, and it looks like we have 44.8 volts. So it looks to me like the first array that we tested, the all powers, is actually run in parallel because the voltage is much lower. So I'm actually gonna change this around and parallel connect these. Okay, so red and red. And black and black. And I'm going to switch my multimeter back. 22.4, that's a lot closer to the last one. Now let's check our amperage. And there we go, 8.55 amps, 8.56, uh, 8.6. And now let's try our solar panel multimeter. Okay, we're going to change that to auto and go. Ooh, and we have 119 watts. Oh, I'm seeing 120.8, 120.5, let's go with that. Okay, next let's do the rigid. And we have 20.43. Okay, let's short the panel. And I have 11.24, 11.24 amps. Okay, now let's try our solar multimeter. And our solar multimeter shows 152.3. Ah, oh, of course there's gotta be an airplane flying over. Go away. Okay, and the results are in. So the all powers unit, just going off the multimeter that I had, the solar multimeter was 129.5 watts. The lit time solar panels, was 120.5 watts, and the rigid Bouge V200 watt panel is 152.3 watts off of the multimeter. Now, if you do the other way that I calculated the wattage, and that is by checking the open circuit voltage and then doing a dead short, 
you're going to get different numbers because you're not actually measuring under power. Uh, with a solar panel, your open circuit voltage is going to be different from the voltage that's actually being used on the system. The voltage is going to decrease once you actually start to pull power from your array. So with those tests, the all powers at 192.88 watts and the lit time was at 192.64 watts and the Bougier V panel came in at 229.63 watts. So the best way to measure and test your array is going to be with that multimeter and not just by voltage and dead shorting alone. So the clear winner of this is going to be the Bougier V panel which roughly won about 20 watts over its competitors. The flexible, the semi-flexible, and the rigid wins the day. So some of the benefits between these options is this one's gonna fold up into a tighter package for travel, and these ones are gonna obviously mount better. These panels here can actually be unplugged in the middle of the night and somebody can walk off with them. And this panel here, once it's mounted, it's securely mounted, it's not going anywhere. Uh, by far my choice, if I had to go with either of these systems, I would stick to the rigid panels. But let me know in the comments section below what you think. Uh, which style of panel would you go for in your scenario? Are you a traveler? Are you an RV or van lifer? What are you going to use your panels for? Again, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this test. If you think I missed something, let me know in the comments below. But thanks. Bye.